Hi, I'm Terry Yannis from Bike Skills, and I'm here today to show you how to ride slippery rocks and rudy sections as well as water crossings. I'm sure some of you have come across some nasty downhill rudy sections or rock sections and been a little bit intimidated. So today I'm going to show you some basic techniques that are going to help you conquer those sections. If you come across a difficult descent and you're not sure you can handle it, stop and get off your bike and take a good look at it. Once you feel you're ready to give it a shot, pick the line you're going to take. And before you get back on your bike, don't forget to lower your seat. It is important to keep your head in a neutral position. Wherever you look is where your front tire is going to go. Remember to stay loose and keep your head up with your pedals level. You should be in a middle, more neutral gear. By neutral gear, I mean middle chain ring in the front and around the middle gear in the rear. Make sure to keep some momentum up. Always have one finger on the brakes at all times and feather them lightly. As you start down your line that you've picked out, remember to breathe, relax, and to flow. Keep your weight slightly back and remember you can use your saddle to manipulate the direction of your bike. As you're moving down the section and you spot a large root or rock ahead, be prepared to pull up on your handlebars slightly and move your weight even further back and your momentum will carry you over the obstacle. Once you've got in a rhythm and are riding down the roots or rocks, keep looking ahead and once you've spotted your exit, let off your brakes and ride it out. Climbing the same terrain is slightly different. Normally, you're coming at it a bit slower. Get into one to two gears harder so that you'll have more leverage and won't spin your tires out on the slick stuff. If you are uncomfortable with a harder gear, it's okay too. Stay in a gear you are comfortable with. It's best to stay seated because standing up can cause your rear wheel to slip over the rocks and roots as you are pedaling. You want to maintain a relatively even body weight distribution on both the front and rear wheels with a slight lean toward the front of the bike. This will keep the front wheel planted, which will give you more steering control. Keep your head up at all times to scan your route ahead of you. Shift ahead of time so that you don't get caught in the wrong gear. As you pedal up and over the roots, it's a fine line where you want to keep constant pressure on your pedals so that your tires grip at all times. My body is slightly leaning over my stem to keep some grip on the front tire. If you feel comfortable picking up your front wheel to clear a big rock or root, give about a half pedal of extra push while pulling up slightly on your handlebars. Your front wheel should pop over the rock or root. As your front wheel pops over the rock or root, your rear wheel will be quick to follow. Right after your front wheel touches the ground, you want to keep your body low and leaning over your stem and still sitting down. As you make your way to the top, keep your head up looking at your line and your body will follow. When going through a water crossing, you first want to see how deep it is and that you can make it through safely. I'll usually find a small rock near the crossing and toss it in to give me an idea of the depth. Once you have determined that you can ride through, take a good look at it and try to find the best spot to cross. As you ride up to the crossing, stay seated and change into one to two gears easier. Lower gears will give you more power if you need to get over large rocks and other submerged obstacles you can't always see. Stay loose, look ahead, and pedal through. Now let's see that piece together. Those are the basic techniques used to get over slippery roots, rocks, as well as water crossings. Watch for more in-depth how-to videos in the future from Bike Skills.